The world relies on the internet now in ways that people really don't understand. A single worldwide internet shutdown for even a few minutes could have devastating effects on commerce, governments, and entire populaces. The average person can live without internet, but by and large the whole world has come to need it in order to have functional infrastructure and commerce. What is it that you can't live without? Is it internet? Is it coffee? Is it bad reality television? In British Columbia, peacocks are starting to attack passing cars because they see their own reflections in them and think that those cars are other peacocks. This indicates that the people in British Columbia take very good care of their cars, to the point where they are shiny enough to allow reflections. I wish I took care of my own adult problems as well as those cars are taken care of, but then if that were the case, I would be constantly swarmed by peacocks thinking that they look like my problems. Maybe not the best idea. In South China, a man who had been having nosebleeds for a solid 10 days found out that he had been housing a humongous leech in his nasal passages, which had been feeding on his blood and then letting the rest of it drip down his nostrils. A doctor from the South China People's Hospital took a look at this man's nose and then told him to remain calm as he yanked out the gargantuan monstrous leech from his nose with a pair of forceps. I most certainly would not have remained calm, but then the only parasites I've ever had to deal with were MMORPGs back in college. Those may have been worse in hindsight. A man in Texas was confronted by a rattlesnake while doing yard work and did the only thing that any rational Texan would do. He cut its head off with a shovel. The rattlesnake then responded by doing what any severed head of a rattlesnake would do. He bit this man and nearly killed him with the amount of poison that he injected. This goes to show you that when you are faced with a problem, especially one of a venomous sort, you should carefully consider your options before cutting its head off and then trying to pick up its body to put in a trash can. A normal person bit by a snake of this type would take four to six doses of antitoxin. This man had to have 28. Bad times. He is currently in stable condition, but his kidneys are not doing very well, and he might be blind for the rest of time. I did something today that was scary, but that turned out to be pretty cool. I've never been able to pull these off until today, so I think it's pretty cool to have done it, despite it being so scary. I think that everyone can benefit from this kind of mindset every once in a while, so today I want you to do something that scares you a little bit, and then tell me what it was in the comments. Make the world better by having some awesome experiences, friends. Here's where you come in. You can start asking me for advice, just go ahead and send me that question via Twitter, or leave it in a comment, and I will address it in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Watching. I hope that you've had a good time so far. Let's continue making the world awesome. I'll see you guys next time. Match a back door with the earth of a hundred nations in my skin. You wouldn't recognize me. For the light in my eyes is strange. It was years ago, God knows. You strained to tell me. You were not mine to save, but you could not.